hey guys welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and also turn on your post notifications so you would be notified anytime i post a new video so in today's video i'm going to be doing something that i think is really exciting i wanted to do this nail set for the longest while now so i'm doing some peppermint nails and also some marble nails so let's get started i already prepped my nails off camera and applied my peel off base coat now what you see me doing here is applying my gel base coat and then I cure in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds. I already picked out my full covered square tips off camera. I am using the McCart full covered square nail tips. So now I'm just going to be applying them to my nails. So I just placed some gel base coat in the nail tip and then I applied it to my nail and cured it in this mini nail lamp for about 5 to 10 seconds so i'm just going to be doing that for all of the nails and then when i'm finished with all of the nails i cured in my bigger nail lamp for 30 seconds so the holidays are right around the corner so now i am just going to be doing christmas and winter nail sets so if you all have any nail sets you all would like for me to do make sure and write it down in the comments below so i know what you all want to see so that I can try to do them if I could. And the funny thing is that the nail tip that I have on the index nail is kind of a little too small for my index nail and it was paining me when I applied it it cured so much on the nail that it was too tight for the nail but I kept it on I didn't want to remove it because I would have to go through the process again of applying the peel of base coat and I didn't really want to go through that so throughout this video my index nail was hurting me so bad oh my goodness but you know i needed to get this video done so make sure and like and comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed as yet and make sure and like this video for all the pain i went through <laughs> so anyway i am using my cuticle bit to go around the cuticle area just to remove any of the base coat that may have seeped out so i'm just doing that for all of the nails now i'm using my hand file to file the free edge and the size of the nails just to get a crisp shape Next, I'm using my sanding band to remove the shine from all of the nails. So for this nail design, I am going to be using Pink Carnation from 
the brand Prodip and I'm also going to be using my Prodip liquids so I'm using the Prodip finish gel I'm using that as my the powder base you can use the powder top coat as the powder base so while going through the video you will hear me saying the powder base but in reality i'm using my the powder top coat so anyway on the ring nail i applied some of the the powder base and then i'm going to be dipping it into my pink carnation the powder from pro dip so while dipping it um the tip of the nail tip got a little smudge because the nail tip is too long to be dipping it into this container so eventually I will have to pour the dip powder onto the nail because I didn't want the nail to be smudged this will reduce the amount of filing I have to do if I had to dip all of the nails into this container I would have had to file a little more however by pouring the dip powder, I wouldn't have to file as much. When dipping it, the nail touches the bottom of the container. That is why you get this little smudge at the tip area. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. So I didn't want that to happen. So I'm just going to be getting my dip powder tray. And I'm just going to be pouring the dip powder from now on. So I just show how the nail is looking at the tip there. I hope you all can see it. Now I'm just going to be applying a layer of the dip powder base. And then I poured the nude dip powder on the nail. So I'm just gonna let this part play out and I'll be back shortly. I did the same for the middle nail as well. I decided to apply activator to the nails one time so I'm just going to be applying activator to the ring nail and the middle nail to harden the nails. So while I wait for those nails to harden, I'm going to be using my McCart Sugar White Dip Powder and I'm going to be using it on the pinky nail and the index nail. So on the pinky nail, I applied my dip powder base to that nail and I applied it in a kind of diagonal line, in a basically in a style, in a diagonal style on the nail and then I poured the white dip powder. I am doing about two layers of that on the pinky nail.
next on the index nail i'm doing the same thing so i just applied the de powder base to the index nail in a diagonal style and this is in real time i did speed up when i was i did speed up the clip when i was doing the pinky nail however i decided to slow down the clip for the index nail so that you all can see how i am doing it in real time so when i apply the de powder base i then apply the dip powder to the nail and then i brush off the excess when i was ready sometimes i like to keep the dip powder on the finger just so that it could be absorbed into the dip powder base a little more sometimes just leaving it on the nail for a little while makes a huge difference in how the nail looks so now I'm just going to be doing a second layer of that. And I always try to make sure I get the corners of the nail as well because sometimes you, you could miss the corners of the nails. Especially when you're filming the nails, you can miss the corners. So I try to remember just to get some of the dip powder base on the corners as well. Now, I was trying to show you guys my Pudip de powder and I forgot that it was open. So, clumsy me spilled some of the clear de powder. So, yes, I'm using the clear de powder. So, I'm just placing some inside of my de powder tray. And I'm using Betsy, which is this red de powder from Revel Nails so I'm just applying some of that as well to the tray I am going to be doing some marble nails so now I'm just swirling the de powder together to get the marble effect now I apply some of my de powder base to the pinky nail And then I laid my finger into the marble mixture. So this is how the nail is looking and I think it looks really good. Next I'm going to be doing the same thing on the index nail. So I applied the de powder base. And then I laid my finger into the de powder mixture. However, this time it didn't turn out right because I needed to apply more of the red de powder. So I'm just going to be applying more of the red de powder right here and swirling it a little to get the marble effect. And then I did it again. And this is so much better now moving on to the thumbnail I'm going to be doing the same thing so I just place a little more of the red de powder so I don't have to do a second layer of the marble like I did on the index nail so now I'm just swirling it to get the marble effect then I applied the de powder base and then I laid it into the marble mixture So I'm going to be using some nail foil so I just placed some onto my nail palette because I need to separate them into smaller pieces so I'm just separating some of the gold nail foils into smaller pieces right now.
now i'm using my gel base coat this is the gel base coat that you cure in a lamp i could use my dip powder base however i didn't want to do that oh before i do anything i decided to apply some activator to the marble nails to harden that part since i'm going to be using my gel base coat i decided to harden it just to complete the dip powder process from here so i applied the activator to all of the marble nails and now i am going to be using my gel base coat to adhere the nail foils so as i said before i could have used my dip powder base to adhere the nail foils but that would be too much work because the powder base can dry very fast however gel base coat doesn't dry until you cure it so i can get a lot of time to apply the nail foils before i cure the nail however if i was using my dip powder base i would have to apply a lot of layers of the dip powder base in order for the nail foils to adhere to them because the dip powder base dries really fast and i cannot apply all these nail foils in time before it dries so i would have to apply some dip powder base then apply some of the nail foils and go back and forth with that and i really didn't want to go through that you know applying it with the gel base coat you just have to apply gel base coat a few times because you know sometimes when you're applying it and you remove some of the nail foils it removes the gel base coat so you know you have to apply it in areas that it was removed when you remove some of the nail foils and that is no biggie because you know you're getting it done and it's so much easier it's an easier process and then when i'm satisfied with how it looks i cure in the lamp for 30 seconds and i'm just going to be doing the same thing on the index nail and i did the same thing on the thumbnail as well but i didn't show that one So this is how it looks after curing all of the nails and I think it looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below and also let me know if you all think the nails look orange. I was so lost when I saw the nails because I know I used a red dip powder. So why are the nails looking orange to me? that was just so confusing so let me know if you all are thinking the same thing as well because i think the nails look orange and i was like what the hell after going through all of this the nails look orange but i had to keep going because i really wasn't about to stop doing the nails because of that i already reached so far so anyway i am going to be encapsulating all of the marble nails and i did about three to four layers of the clear dip powder so i'm just gonna let this part play out and i'll be back shortly i only showed myself encapsulating the pinky nail and by the way you do not need to encapsulate with this amount of layers i just decided to do 
three to four layers just because and yeah you don't really need to do all of that maybe two layers could be fine but it all depends on how your nail looks and my nails are long so it doesn't really it wouldn't really look thick if I do that and I have to file it down anyway so I didn't really mind the amount of layers but you know you should do what makes you all feel comfortable so I did apply activator to each nail individually when I was finished encapsulating each nail however I decided to apply more activator when I was finished with all of the nails so right here I am applying more activator to all of the nails again because I just like to do that I like to ensure that the nails are hardened So I did file the nails off camera and this is after filing of the nails. Now on the middle and ring nail I am applying my gel base coat to the both nails and curing for 30 seconds. The reason I am applying my gel base coat is because I'm going to be doing some nail art and when you apply gel base coat the gel polish usually goes on a lot better when you do that so that's why I'm doing it. So I wanted to use my Madame Glam's Perfect White but when I opened the Macard Perfect White it looked blue to me like streaks of blue so I had to shake it up a bit just to remove some of that blue from the gel polish and when I applied it to my nail palette it was still looking blue so I don't know what is wrong with that gel polish but I didn't use it. I decided to use my Nail Addict white gel polish and this one was a perfect white <laughs> so yes i'm just going to be using that on the middle and the ring nail and i'm going to be drawing some french nails so i'm just going to let this part play out so you all can see how i do my french nails and it's not difficult but you have to really understand what you're doing because this simple thing can be difficult if you don't understand what you're doing because I have had a lot of issues with French nails and it is the most simplest nail design to do but something about it can be very difficult. So yeah, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not that versed with French nails. It is easy but then again it can be hard so you have to understand something in order to get it right. So yeah, that's just it. But with practice you all can get it. So I'm just showing myself drawing on the French nail and this is in real time right now. So I cured that for 30 seconds and now I'm going to be doing the same thing on the ring nail.
then I cured that for 30 seconds and I did another layer of camera and cured that as well for 30 seconds. So this is after the two layers are applied to both nails. So now I'm using these two liner gels from Macard. The first liner gel I have here is called Rose in Red. And then we have Wild Cherry which is one of the disco liner gels. So we are going to be drawing some peppermint nails and guys this was the most difficult thing to draw at first. This is my first time drawing peppermint nails I believe so it was very difficult but after the 10th time I got the hang of it and I was successful but guys this was stressful oh my goodness I just couldn't get it right So I decided to apply some gel base coat to the white area of the French nail because I didn't want to tint the white gel polish with the red gel polish because I knew there was a huge possibility that I was going to be doing this peppermint nail a few times so I wanted to eliminate that problem from happening. And this peppermint nail seems very simple but I just wasn't getting it guys I just wasn't getting it and what I wasn't getting is do you guys see the middle where all of the lines connect to right in the middle there I thought it was too thick every time I did it it was just super thick and I didn't like that at all because it made the peppermint nails look very untidy so I needed to get that area to be Thin, that middle the section where all of the lines meet I needed to get that area very thin and filming and doing this drawing was very difficult since this was the first time I did a peppermint nail so trying to film it while trying to understand what I was doing oh my goodness guys this was the worst I tried so many techniques in order to get the peppermint nails to look right so this technique right here i thought this one was going to work i was so sure i was so convinced this is it but i did have to remove it because something just wasn't giving with it so i i'm just gonna let you guys watch all my trial and errors and show you all how i achieved the peppermint nails so i'm just gonna let this part play out and if i have anything else to say I'm just gonna pop in and say it but for now I hope you guys enjoy all my mistakes <laughs> And I didn't want to cure any of the lines because I knew I needed to do all of the lines first before curing because I needed to see how the nail looks in a hole to see the peppermint nail because I knew I would make a mistake so I didn't want to cure one and then the whole the whole nail doesn't look like a peppermint nail I needed to see it in a full peppermint nail just to know okay I got it I can cure it now so anyway after a while I decided to just take a little break and then I went back at it and I went back at it off camera at first and then I decided to put on the camera just to document this 
and I wasn't in frame because I didn't want to think about the cameras right now. I wanted to just focus on getting the peppermint nail done. And I think that was my problem because I was trying to be in frame for y'all to see and still trying to learn how to do the peppermint nail. So I decided not to think about the camera. It was on, yes, but I decided not to think about being in frame and having to show you guys it. I was just focusing on doing the nail and this time it worked out great for me so i did the outline and cured it for 30 seconds when doing the outline i only dipped the tip of the nail art brush into the red gel paint the red gel polish and applied it to the nail i didn't apply too much to the tip so that is why the secret to that is getting very very thin lines in the peppermint nail and to achieve the thin lines is just make sure when you dip your nail brush into the gel polish you don't pick up too much so that is what I was trying to do and it worked out so yeah now I'm just filling in the space with the red gel polish for the peppermint nail And then I cured for 30 seconds. So I did my ring nail off camera. Now I'm going to be using the red disco liner gel on the peppermint nail as well. And I'm making sure to get very thin lines. then I cured that for 30 seconds so this is how the nails are looking right now so now I'm using my revel nail gel top coat to top coat all of the nails and then I cured for 30 seconds
then i'm going to be top coating the underside of the marble nails as well and curing that for 30 seconds So this is how the nails are looking so far and I still think the marble nails look like orange and white and that annoys me. <laughs> now I'm just going to be applying my cuticle oil to rehydrate my skin and nails. So this is the finished look guys, this is my marble and peppermint nail design. I think this nail set is perfect for the holidays and it looks really good. As I said before my only issue is I think the marble looks like an orange and white marble instead of a red and white marble. But regardless of that I think this nail set looks really good. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!